What, what up, up y'all? It's your boy Dre Hall. This year, okay? We are back with another video. Yes. Back with some old nukes. nukes. Top five. We got 10 scary videos to creep you out. Make sure y'all got y'all snacks like always. Get drink. Yeah, we got regulars who love who love this content. <laughs> and we love it too. We love the scary videos, man. Mm -hmm. So make sure y'all tap in with us. Ready to get into it? Let's get into it. Let's go. A father says that he was busy working in his office one day when his son came running in and seemed very upset. The boy claimed that, quote, a man was moving things in the other room. What? The dad follows the boy into the living room to find things scattered all across the floor. So he checks his security cam to see just what happened. What he finds chills him to his core. That's why it's good to have cameras, bro. Yeah. Review your cameras. Boy, oh. push them down. Now you're going too far. Now you're going too far. A small toy and a dog bed can be seen sliding across the living room floor all by themselves. The seemingly annoyed little boy rushes yeah, over to the objects like and even starts picking up the dog bed and throwing it back to the floor in frustration. Stuff. The dog bed then aggressively slides back towards him, knocking him over. But luckily, the little boy lands right on the soft bed. So, just what was the boy saying? And it kind of looked like he was kind of holding him down a little right bit right there. The soft bed. Right there. So, All right. just it do what like was the boy saying when he told his dad that, quote, a man was moving things? Could some see. dark presence be haunting their home? You decide. Which is in the Matrix. TikTok user Eddie is parked in front of a Boston pizza restaurant in Fresno, California, when he spots something very weird. Okay, where is this car that's reflecting on this oh, Boston pizza that orange car? window? Yeah. It's a Corvette C8. A Corvette C8? And it's nowhere. I seriously don't see that car. Yo, anywhere. that's for real a glitch. Where's that car? What? Where? Where is that car? Hello? Where's that car? Dang it. Where is this car? In the reflection of the restaurant's wow. window, Eddie sees an orange Corvette C8. I would have walked up but on when it. he looks around the parking lot, it's not there. In disbelief, Eddie posts this video to TikTok, wondering if he might have caught a quote, Glitch in the Matrix. Yeah, I think he that got a glitch. The really footage goes viral, not. receiving over 2.8 million views. In the comments, viewers repeatedly ask Eddie to go back and film the location one more time. Okay, we are back at the same parking lot. Because one of the main comments you guys were saying is, go walk up to it. Yeah, uh, I'll go walk up to it. inside of the pizza parlor, or it's a wrap on the window. I don't know. No, that That's don't look right like now. a wrap on the window. So I'm walking to it right now. If you look at it actually from this point of view, the reflections look kind of accurate. There's a oops, buddies. There's a white car reflecting. That's right here. Wow. And no, there's like no car in there. This time the shop window accurately reflects what's right in front of it. It's a glitch. The orange Corvette is no longer there. Cut to another video of a supposed, quote, glitch in the matrix. 
Late one night in Nashville, Tennessee, a woman's friends tell her to quickly grab her camera and hurry outside to check out some very bizarre activity going on in the night sky. <laughs> Spectators to the shocking event believe that they witnessed everything from a possible government cover-up, aliens, and of course, maybe even a glitch in the Matrix. But whether it's a glitch, aliens, or maybe just a really good fake, I leave that up to you. I believe in aliens. I wouldn't mind seeing it. Yeah, I believe aliens. I don't Follow know what that could home. be. Back in 2015, Candace Gardner and her husband attended a Halloween party at an abandoned and allegedly haunted prison with a dark history. It was a huge mistake. Candace says that the entire night at the party she felt like something was watching her. And ever since that night, strange things have been happening in Candace's home. She now believes that a malicious entity might have followed her home from the old prison. A dark spirit that intends to harm her and her family. Soon after the prison trip, Candace begins to experience unexplained activity in her home. Lights flicker on and off at night while Candace and her husband. Yeah, I don't think I want to take that prison trip no more. He's a, you know, the haunted, the haunted jail. Oh, why not? For something like that to happen? Oh, I mean, you just got. I don't know. I don't know. Right, don't that's know. true. That's true. Yeah, you're right. Activity in her home. Lights flicker on and off at night while Candace and her husband sleep. Doors in the house open and close on their own. But scariest of all, the spirit begins to aggressively throw objects at Candace. continue to escalate as it seems that the entity that's creepy mm. oh that giving me chills yeah real. but remember that what happened yesterday we hear that big boom yeah in the house so, like, we, I thought it was you I thought you was, was like, playing how I was like, that me I'm right here just going into the little pantry even our cat was looking our cat was like uh, crazy. But yeah that's crazy too that's Once made me thought about what happened yesterday hurt Candace oh, oh it does no. something just trying to that's, that's a screwdriver? Oh, a knife. A, knife. a oh, kitchen knife. It's time for y'all to move. Because that, that goes to trying to. Do something get that to. thing up out of there. I'm alive, y'all. While Candace is sleeping, she starts to wake up to painful, violent attacks. As if some unseen force is roughly grabbing or pulling at her. And she says she caught proof. Hmm. So late one night, Candace and her husband fall asleep while watching TV on the couch. As the couple sleeps, a CCTV camera in the room captures something absolutely horrifying. Let's see. It's lifting her leg up. Dang. Can't go, on, bro. Oh, it's time to break a leg. Oh, it's time for y'all to get out the house. Candace's leg appears to get grabbed and twisted painfully into the air. 
by an invisible force. Ooh, that's, that's painful. She wakes up in a panic and screams for her husband to help her. But all he can do is grab her leg and pull it back. Eventually, he manages to free Candace's legs from whatever is pulling on it. But poor Candace is left sobbing in pain and fear. Now, I have to say that after watching this footage and hearing Candace's desperate pleas for help, this boat, video I... is very compelling. Yeah. But do you believe that a dark entity followed Candace Hell home from the prison yes. and is now violently haunting her home? Let me yeah. know what you think. You might be right on that one. As for I Candace, she says that her family still experiences terrifying paranormal yeah, events so to here. this day. We need scary videos, so if you've seen one or you have one, of... send it our way at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Hell or high water. Back in August 2021, an unexpected flash flood swept through downtown Omaha, Nebraska. At around 10 p.m., Tony Liu and his two friends are relaxing in his apartment and watching the weather reports about the flood. They decide to take the elevator down to have a look at the flooded city streets for themselves. It was a very bad idea. Let me see your best moves in practice. Oh! Okay, can you No way! Hey! Tony and his friends didn't realize, but the lower levels of the apartment building were completely flooded with disgusting sewer water. No way! As the elevator reaches Man. the lobby, water pours inside, Ooh. causing the elevator to malfunction and track them inside with the Ooh. rising water. Once they got towards kind of my neck, chest, that's when I kind of, okay, like, I could possibly die in here. The water continues to flood in, filling the elevator to the point that the three friends can barely keep their head above water. Tony is panicked and makes an emergency phone call to his roommate, Dalen Stapp, and the roommate hurries downstairs to try to help his trapped friends. I told him, hey, uh, I'm, I'm going to die in here if you guys don't come and try to do something. We went to my, my department, they can't do nothing. Water yeah. And just tried pulling it apart with everything we could. We had to get him out or could have been fatal. Tony's roommate, Dalen, finally manages to pry open the flooded elevator doors to free his friends from what could have been That's their water grave. Luckily, oh, they all up. escape and swim to safety without so much as a scratch. Not surprisingly, Tony Liu says that this was the scariest thing that has ever I can imagine. Him. How scary was this? Honestly, I would say this is number one, the most scariest thing in my life. Yep. It gotta be. Yeah. Count down. That happened like that. Okay, thank you. Watson. Mm, wow. The Rainbow Fountain and Grill in Carrollton, Texas was built back in 1924. And before it became the popular local soda shop that it is today, it was home to a pharmacy and a medical office. One of the doctors who frequently worked out of the building was Dr. Robert Blackburn, who was famously known for bringing his cute little dog Watson along with him everywhere, even to patients' houses. It is said that Dr. Blackburn's loyal little dog Watson still haunts the building to this day. Over the years, workers and customers at the cafe claim to have had strange, unexplained experiences with the ghost of Watson the dog, <laughs> saying that they could actually feel the spirit of the little dog jump right up on their legs. Since the restaurant added security cameras, they have started to capture some of these strange encounters on video. Take a look. He looking Let's around like, watch the still there, man. Mm -hmm. CCTV footage shows employees and visitors getting nipped at the ankles or even scratched by something that they can't see. Now with so many people experiencing the exact same phenomena, and with all of it caught on camera, it makes you wonder whether the spirit of little Watson the dog is still hanging that's, around that's what the old soda shop. Wow. Scaring the patrons, but perhaps only trying to find new friends to play with. Mm -hmm. He ain't harming nobody. 
It makes me want to go there. Wow. <laughs> Sometimes a very silly moment turns scary in an instant. Two guys are just goofing around, but then, like a bolt out of the blue, fun time is over. Oh. oh. I know that'll be you right there. You're close. close lightning strike rips through the clouds <laughs> and scares the living <laughs> out of them, sending them running inside in terror. Right there with a cigarette. <laughs> Like, oh, no more pooping around. No more playing, bro. <laughs> he didn't see it. Oh. Axel frequently explores caves and tunnels in the woods of Colomos, Mexico. After finding what seems like evidence of witchcraft in one of those caves, Axel believes that some dark entity attached itself to him and now follows him wherever he goes. Mm. One day, in the strangest place, a public restroom, Axel starts to hear bizarre sounds. He takes out his phone and hits record. And what happens next is like something right out of a nightmare. No, I think you'll come in. I still have it in the bag of the university. But the truth is that I was, well, I was going to get out of the bag. So everyone was all wrong. But now there are sounds that are weird. And they're touching the door. But I want to see that there's nothing. In fact, yeah. he doesn't even notice until he posts this video online. Yeah. Then the comments come flooding in. People tell Axel, uh, hey, there see was the a eyes. face looking out. But Axel says he didn't see it. Hello, doggy. It's a little before six in the morning when a Reddit user's dog who's home alone experiences something very creepy. Unexplained voice whispering, Hello, which seems to send the dog right into a panic. Dude, once you hear that, that's when the orb starts flying around. The owner says that absolutely no one other than the dog was home at the time of this recording. He also says that he's never experienced anything like this in his house. And he wonders if he captured something paranormal. Oh, yeah, you but to what do you think this voice is? That sounds something like uh, a ghost or something. Yeah. Yeah. Mirror, mirror. The guy named Edgar Virgen from Colima, Mexico says that his four-year-old niece was given a very strange old toy. A pink mirror that lights up, plays music, and features a pre-recorded voice that says cute little phrases. Nothing too odd there, but over the next few weeks, Edgar starts to notice his niece talking to the mirror daily, and some of the toy's responses are eerily intelligent. 
almost as if it can hear and respond to the little girl. Edgar and the girl's mom decide to ask some questions themselves. What happens next is truly disturbing. Solo pude encontrar estas piezas y pues sí, le puse unas baterías que tenía aquí en la casa. Como ven, son nuevas. La neta no creo que prenda, pero bueno, vamos a calarle. Miedo. Gracias, amigo. Me da gusto. Eres muy divertido. ¿Tienes una fiesta? Mm, no, no, no tengo fiesta. ¿Tú tienes? No sé. Cuando me levanté, te vi a ti. Ay, vas a chingar a tu madre. Edgar says that at this point he's just done with the mirror. He says he threw it out with the trash. Don't so could a paranormal right. entity be attached to this toy? Yeah. Let me know what you think. Hmm. Monkeying around. An antique collector says he stores all of his collectibles in a local storage unit. But lately, things have gotten a little strange. He says that he started to get odd complaints from the staff at the storage facility. They said that they heard bizarre loud noises coming from inside his storage unit at all hours of the day and night. The antique collector is very confused at what the noises could be and sets up a security camera inside the unit to see what can be going on. When he reviews the footage the next day, he is shocked. Just inexplicably sits up and just moves around and look on at its the own. camera. Then it drops right back down, motionless. After witnessing this creepy camera, like, incident, oh. the antique collector says that he believes that the old doll might be cursed or have a paranormal entity might attached be. to it. So is this footage real or is it all just an elaborate hoax? As always, Nowadays, you, you never decide. Know. What do y'all think? Thanks think for it's watching. Real? Be sure to subscribe so that you never miss a video. And maybe even visit me. Oh. That what was crazy. That episode really did creep me up. Yes. That was a good one. From Pleasure. the 
thing with the, messing with the little boy, boy with the dog bed the, and the toy. The knife getting thrown at the lady and her from her, her visiting the jail. Yeah, and her um legs legs bending it's up like, like it's about to break. Yes, it was trying to break it. Man, wow, the dolls moving. The, and they had the little dog. I like that one. The dog. He's. He's. I guess he's looking for like a friend or something he's like that. He's still there. I want to go to the restaurant just to see. Should be what it is. Nibble at your leg or yeah. tap your leg or something. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was creepy, y'all. That, that one was different. How do y'all feel? Let us know down below in the comment section. If you are enjoying this content, let it be known too. Throw a thumbs up on the video. Share it with your friends. Hope y'all enjoy it. Mm -hmm. We got more to come. We we'll catch y'all next video. Catch y'all next one.